The national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Uche Sakondes, has proposed that PDP National Executive Committee members embark on a protest against the Supreme Court's judgment. And President of the Senate, Senator Ahmed Lawan, has expressed his belief that Nigeria has made significant democratic progress over the last 20 years since 1999. Is he right? This is Plus Politics, and I am Felicity Ezewiki. It seems the People's Democratic Party, PDP, is not quietly accepting the removal of its member, Emeka Ehedioha, from his position as the elected governor of Imo State and replacing him with Hopu Zadima of the APC. They have therefore called for the immediate review and reversal of the decision of the Supreme Court on this issue. The national chairman of the PDP, Uche Sokondus, has further proposed that the PDP National Working Committee members embark on a protest against the Supreme Court's judgment. Joining us to have a conversation on this are two people. Uh, we'll start with uh, public affairs analyst Obide Olari Waju. Thank you very much for coming on the program. Thanks for having me here. Thank you. And of course, we have a familiar face, Obi Ajiemu. Good to be here. Legal practitioner, thank you very much. Good to be here. Okay, let's start um, with the question on the table. As a legal person, is it possible to reverse a ruling of the Supreme Court or review it? Yes, it's possible. Please it's explain. Possible. Um, one of the grounds is if um, it was based on fraud, maybe the evidences against them were not accurate and um, some other reasons but they have every right to go back to the Supreme Court and tell them to, to review that decision. Is that, is, has, that, has there been a precedent of I believe, such in I this believe country? there's been a precedent. Um, I believe so, but I, I'm, I'm not aware of our country. Is that, is that something that you see that can happen in this case? It is what's going to happen. It's not what I see, it's what's going to happen. Why do you say so? Because um, looking at the, the, the two things that leap out to me at that case is, first of all, the amount of votes that you gave them does not tally with the total amount of people that were accredited. That's a no-no. And then secondly, you, you assumed that out of the whole 388 uh, words, that no, or they would only be voting for Hopus or Dima. They will not vote for PDP. They will not vote for AA. They will not vote for ABGA. That's, so, uh, that's a wrong premise. So how can the Supreme Court, of, made up of justices, mm -hmm. make such uh, an error like you are saying? You know, um, Justice Oputa says they are not, um, they are not unfallible. They are human beings, and they are bound to make mistakes. But in such crucial matters. Well, if this is not addressed, it will, if what is telling the common man is there is no hope in the judiciary anymore. Um. Okay, the PDP uh, issued a statement. Mm. Before we continue this conversation, and I bring. Um, Obide into the conversation. We'll just take a look at the video of the press conference, a bit of it, uh, so we can continue uh, with the conversation here. The Supreme Court voiding the lawful election of Honorable Emekai Hedon, who scored 276,404 and awarding, awarding fictitious votes to declare hope who's of the man of the APC, who scored 96,458 as a governor of Imo State, is highly irrational, unfounded, a provocative product of executive manipulation, and a recipe for crisis, which we don't pray for. In the light of extraordinary circumstances that they share this, that judgment as a product manipulation and a clear put the tat against the will of the people of Imo State, we demand that the decision of the Supreme Court on the Imo governorship election be reviewed and reversed in the interest of justice. Furthermore, we demand that Justice Tanko Mohammed, the CGN and his colleagues, and the Imo governorship panel 
rescue themselves from the remaining cases involving PDP in the Supreme Court. Finally, we state for the records that the Supreme Court order under Justice Tanko Mohammed should be held responsible if there is any breakdown of law and order in any state as a result of judgment procured solely for political, for political rather judicial reasons as is currently happening. So, Obide, you saw that um, clip. It's not the entire um, press conference, but we just wanted to give you an idea what he said. Two things. He's talked about executive manipulation. We'll talk about the second in a bit. Do you feel that the Nigerian judiciary can be manipulated as is being alleged by the PDP? You know, politicians would always um, have something to say when the pendulum does not swing their way. Um, I, I don't see um, executive manipulation here. Uh, first and foremost, I, I mean, uh, she was talking about the scores uh, being fine. We can say these scores are fictitious. I'm not a lawyer, but then since this um, case started, I, I took interest in it and I was reading the facts. And I know that a court of law actually um, gives judgments based on facts. Uh, she mentioned, uh, is it possible that um, of all the votes, we're not talking about all the votes in that 388 polling units. We are talking about the votes that Uzodima claimed were his votes, which were nullified, not the general vote. And um, I know one thing certainly about the court of law. The court of law would only treat um, a case brought before it. Unfortunately, um, the INEC has no right to reverse a result that has been declared and signed for by presiding officer. You get what I'm saying? But at the point of coalition, they cancelled those results and the results were announced as cancelled, getting to the tribunal. By the constitution of Nigeria, only the tribunal has the right to cancel votes. But it was never a matter brought up. So I will say, I'm not saying this judgment is sound. You understand? I will say this judgment is sound, but not valid. Uh, like we used to, were taught in logic back then in school. Okay, you so know, the please explain I will say, that for people that The reason that I will say understand. it's sound and not valid is um, taking the case to the court of law. Uh, Uzodima's lawyers presented a case. This is our vote. Our vote was not counted. And that's what the court of law had to attend to. Whereas the, the, the um, lawyers of um, Ihedioa, even from the tribunal, they never really faced this. There was no cross-examination. You understand what I'm saying? They, uh, I'm talking about to make that vote invalid. There should have been cross-examination of the presiding officer, of the coalition officers at the tribunal level, this vote ought to have been thrown away. But the vote was never thrown away, and it was brought to the Supreme Court. Getting to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court can't, even if the Supreme Court feels this is an um, invalid vote. The result, all the, uh, all the policemen, the securities on on duty at that day, they all came. Everything tallied. Okay, that's your position. I, I, I would have wanted to go on to another question, but I see you have a reaction. Give that in as, as quickly as you can. First of all, it is trite law, that, and it was also followed in Atiku versus President Buhari, that before you, and it's even in law of evidence, that before you put something to, before you tender a result, the, pet, the, the presiding officer of the of, of the polling unit should be the INEC presiding officer, not a police officer. 
and that is what that is why it is difficult to prove certain cases because if you have if you have allegations in, in about 300 words that means you have to bring 300 presiding officers so it's cumbersome and then suddenly the supreme court now reverses that and then takes takes the word of um, a policeman who is not an INET person who is statutory uh, authorized to to declare results that that is another that is another that is another okay. not I'm, I'm, not police officers i'm talking about the presiding officer was brought in by um the presiding Uzo, officer wasn't the, brought in. The presiding officers. The presiding officers of were not. Those they units. were not. They were not. Because okay, let, let, me, let, me, um, let me. Uh, there's, there are some things that was highlighted in that press mm. briefing that I would like us to touch on uh, in the short time that we have. Um, the position of the National uh, Working Committee of the PDP said that after a thorough examination uh, of what they described as a miscarriage of justice, uh, and I'm going to quote a bit of that, um, they, they're saying for decided that for a petitioner to succeed in an allegation of infraction of uh, any provision of the Electoral Act, especially one complaining about malpractice, mm. as in this case, wrongful exclusion of votes, the petitioner must call witnesses polling unit by polling unit. Yes. That's a question, a list of questions that was put forward mm -hmm. uh, by the National Working Committee of the PDP, and that's what they are saying. So uh, let me put it to you as a legal person. Mm -hmm. Why do you think, if they are putting this uh, question out now, the Supreme Court did not take cognizance of its previous ruling that is that is the that is part of, part of the bane of the matter in about 6 months ago president buhari versus atiku it was used and all the laws, that is why it's difficult to have um, to, to prove infrastructure because you have to carry, if you, if you are infrastructure in 10 words, you have to bring 10 pre pre um, presiding officers so for the Supreme Court to now reverse and change the law, anyway, people are glad that it has been reversed. Do you see the, any the, possibility? The, anyway, I would say the Supreme Court did not reserve, I mean, reverse the law. Uh, in Buari's case, you would see when Atiku was um, told, um, uh, was uh, alleged not to be a Nigerian, uh, at the Supreme Court, it was one of the cases that was quashed because Atiku was not cross-examined. I'm not a lawyer, you understand? But ordinarily, when cases come up and then uh, the, 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 uh, the plaintiff now uh, brings a case forward, the defendant is supposed to cross-examine every fact the plaintiff is bringing on board. So in a situation where the plaintiff brings is facts, is evidences, and you did not cross-check it, you did not cross-examine, it means you are okay with it. Probably based on, you, you understand what I'm saying? It's just a matter of playing your that cards right. I would yes. only well, blame the lawyers. That okay, do you think your from your um, experience and what you've read so far, do you think that it is possible for the Supreme Court to review its own decision? Like she said, is it possible? Well, like I have just told you earlier on, this is, um, I'm not a lawyer, I, I wouldn't know. Uh, but then that would also be um, a taint on uh, the Supreme Court. From every indication, from all I've read about this case, the Supreme Court gave a sound judgment, but probably not a valid one. And why am I saying probably not a valid one? Of course, those numbers do you think maybe fictitious. the pdp knows that there is a possibility the supreme court will not reverse or review its decision um, the, it the 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 pdp should um, have um lawyers uh and i think um one of the brilliant lawyers we have in nigeria is son for that matter in person of uh Zekome, is um, also a lawyer of pdp so i want to believe they would um I mean, this is just democracy growing, really, you know? So, the pro uh, pro the pro what, what would be the purpose of the protest? The proposed the Because it's the not just the NWC now. Mm. Some, uh, one or two uh, CSOs have come up to say that they're going to protest to show their Somebody has, uh, okay, no, they took them to court about another thing. But first of all, there are, uh, there are a lot of cases. The PDP has a lot of cases going before Supreme Court. If they don't act on this, 
how will they see the judgment of the other ones? So this is to forestall a repeat performance of of the of this same, same sort but of. But to what end, really? But, if the decision, there is every likelihood mm -hmm. that the Supreme Court decision might not be reviewed, might not. But, well, but then, going the on a sorry thing, to interrupt you, I'll, going on a protest mm -hmm. of what purpose? Will it achieve? Because the, the country is already in a heightened state mm. of insecurity mm. and anger mm. in, in, in certain and quarters. Mm. You know, adding that is like adding fuel to the fire. No, you see, this is politics. It's, it's everybody's playing their hand. You want to go out to the Supreme Court and know that the Supreme Court judges did what is fair. And they are saying they're not fair. So they now want to make a statement to tell them that they're not fair. And if you pass the judgment and somebody made a, a big hue and cry and that you're not fair, subsequent judgments, you will take your time and make sure that you do what, when, when it is reviewed, that you, you, you come out clean. Your reaction? Why have we all of a sudden forgotten about Zamba, Zamfara? Zamfara is a totally different You, you understand? No. It's a totally when, when, different you see, when a judgment comes out, mm. You understand what I'm saying? When a judgment comes out, this was the same Supreme Court that made a state that had members of a certain political party across board from governorship down to the House of Assembly to every political offices removed and given to some another party, the same PDP. You understand what I'm saying? I wouldn't want us to um, really put too much sentiment into this. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, we had the likes of um, Justice Odili, who probably some would want to say is sympathetic to the cause of PDP based on a relationship with PDP. I mean, the relationship with PDP. Without that, but that, 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 that's, that's, then, that's the fact essay. that, yeah, I mean, everything is based on the essay. Everything, we just have to look at everything holistically. So for nine supreme, I mean, for nine of the justices to have come up with a common seven. front. I mean, seven of the justices to have come up with a common front. I mean, had it been, we, we saw um, during the time of um, Buari versus um, Joe Nathan, it was Four against three. You understand? Uh, in other cases, we've seen five against two. We've seen, you, you, you get what I'm saying? But this one, the old nine of them actually came. The whole seven I mean, seven, sorry, seven of them came and said this. <laughs> I mean, these are learned people. Okay, let, let's look at this. I don't know how relevant this is to the conversation and their argument, but it is something that they highlighted, uh, trying to say that... Um, uh, the APC did not even get seats in the State House of Assembly on which um, the election was held on the same day in the same polling unit areas and all of that. And they are saying, how, how is it possible that the governor will, somebody that was fourth position becomes first? You know, how relevant is this to their argument, do you think? Because it is the same, it is the same characteristics. If you, if you notice, if you poll... Um, if you poll one way for governor, most times people are stereotyped. If they poll this way for governor, most times they'll pay for Except if there's a peculiar governor that you say, okay, we like this man, but he's coming on a different pedestal. So you say, I'm voting for this man regardless of his party. And then you now vote for whoever you want to do, vote for. How about if we ask that um, the result? I mean, this only happened because Uzodima took it up. You get what I'm saying? What if um, that 388 polling units also are the result of all the same members of the same party cancelled? But they did not come up. They have not come to fight it. So it's the person who had come to fight. Don't forget that at the conception, inception of this um, case, it was four against one. He had you, I mean, he had you against Uzodima. Um, what's this... Uh, um, for which as a candidate, you know, Umosu and all that. But then along the line, I mean, when you're going to war, you, you keep looking at your strength. You, you, you go into war based on your strength and weaknesses. And whereas um, at first, these guys, the case they were going for was another election should be reconducted. Well, if, but if you, you know, it got to a point 
the lawyer saw it. We actually have a case. This vote had not been trumped. So it was from that angle. When Uzo Dima was going to come, he was saying, based on my votes that was not declared, these votes, the presiding officer said I had it. The tribunal had not quashed it. Even so based on that vote, mm -hmm. I should be declared. Even the article case did not generate as much debate and conversation as this Imo State governorship um, um, ruling. This is the third time this week we're, since that ruling we're having a conversation on this program about it because and there seem to more be more arguments. coming up different, even among lawyers, their argument as to, you know, the validity of the Supreme Court's uh, judgment. I, I love what you just said, even amongst lawyers. So that means um, I have friends that are lawyers and I've seen those for it and those against it. You know, you, you were saying it the other time. The law is the law is actually very funny. And can uh, I can I put in? You you see when things go on social media, it just goes like fire. And if the other person doesn't read everything, but they have one side view, you came and you were saying that um, Ike, Ike Dio has lawyers did not file it. I I have on my phone a reporter by Ike Dio as lawyer voting that the father did a cross petition against against this um a cross petition or examination no you, you, you it, know, it is it is cut yes, off. It i is, know they wrote they wrote a cross no, petition they, it was written just like in the case of buari versus article article i mean uh, um buari lawyers wrote but was article cross examined it was never questioned when it got to the point of cross examination we all heard that this lawyer said, okay, they are okay with it. Okay. So, uh, anyway, you know, can I, so can I clarify what I was saying? There is something called cross-petition. The cross-petition, bringing it to the notice of the court that they don't buy these votes that were, that were done, by, but the court never looked into it. So those are all of the salient points they want to bring out. Even if, they, even if it is not... Even if the case is not reviewed, it is done on in president that they, that issue arose. Okay, so I was let's uh, because we have very limited time left. Um, I was having a uh, a conversation um, about this with a friend earlier mm -hmm. today, and one of the questions that came to my mind that seems very ordinary mm -hmm. is. What is the place of the emo people in this matter? Because as it is, it's like they've they had one governor for eight months. Now they have another one. What would be their fate this time? Do you see Uzodema being hope for the people? Um, you say Uzodema, I like I said, I'm not saying he won that election fairly, you understand. But then the law is the law. Uh, the law has given it to him. It's an opportunity. And for me, I would always um, want to advise anybody in the position of power. The essence, the purpose, the reason why anybody should want to get a leadership position is because they want to serve the people. You understand what I'm saying? God has blessed him now. He should not disappoint because it's the people of Imo we are talking about. Just the same way I advised the um, current governor of Zamfara when he was given that judgment. Okay, your last thoughts, please, in 30 seconds. I feel that this is a wake-up call for the Supreme Court. To, to, um, it's fine, there are seven judges that made, that made the decision, but the Supreme Court should try as much as possible to give judgments that nobody can question. All right, thank you very much for your thoughts so far. Thank you. <laughs> All right, um, how democratic is our nation? is up for discussion after we come back from this break to go away.